If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Little House on the Road subscribers and followers. So, uh, today we're going to go over five camping hacks. I might actually make this a monthly series. I apologize for the wind. I will try to talk as loud as possible. I've been putting off doing videos for several days now because of the wind and weather, but I gotta, I gotta get back on doing some videos. So anyway, as I was saying, we're gonna do five camping hacks uh, that we've used that seem to be very successful for us. So, start them out. Number one, natural tick deterrent. Uh, what we do, and we found this one online, is you can use one part tea tree oil and two parts water. So if you use a tablespoon of tea tree oil, use two tablespoons of um, water, spray it on. Now, I haven't scientifically tested it, but uh, we have used it because uh, we forgot to repel one time. So we used it and we didn't get any ticks. No, that's not to say we would have gotten ticks if we hadn't used it, but the reviews online, you know, folks saying online that it works. So, uh, the other thing is, is it also safe for kids. Um, you know, the DEET and Repel, I'm not sure about their safety. Number two, non-stick grill. Carolyn actually figured this one out on her own, and then we looked it up. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good one non-stick grill so what you do is you you clean the grill uh, you can use a uh, aluminum foil ball you can use a scrub brush sometimes Carolyn just uses a stick so you clean it off real good and then you put on some vegetable oil put it over the grill and you cook that you heat it up get it nice and hot and then let it cool off and then you put some more on it and it does a really good job of keeping the grill from uh, allowing your, your meat to stick to it. Number three, non-stick cast iron casserole dish. It's got an enamel paint on it or something. This thing is absolutely wonderful. It was a good idea that we used it. We thought about getting a Dutch oven, but this one actually has a few more uses, at least we think. And we can use it as an oven on the grill. We can use it in the uh, pop-up. We can use it on the grill. Uh, we can fry in it, we can bake in it. Carolyn has used it for a lot of different things and a lot of different little tricks that she has used it for. Um, you can put it right on the coal. Uh, so she decided that she wanted the cast iron casserole dish over a Dutch oven. One, because it's, it has a lot of uses. And two, it, it brought down the weight. You know, just another cast iron dish that we would have. So she's actually got two cast iron um, utensils, the casserole dish and then a frying pan. Um, and we haven't broke down and got a Dutch oven yet. We may one of these days, but for now we seem to be very happy with the casserole dish. Number four, <laughs> wash machine. Not really. This one's a neat little hack. It's a bucket and you can do it a couple different ways, but you can use a bucket and a plunger and you cut some holes in the plunger. Uh, right there on the top. The plunger only costs a dollar if you go to the Dollar Tree. The bucket, you know, you can use whatever bucket you have available or go to a hardware store, you can pick them up for three or four dollars. So what you do is you cut a hole in the lid. This is option one. Carolyn doesn't like this option. Cut a hole in the lid, put your laundry in, water, your detergent in the bucket, put your plunger in the bucket and then slide the stick through the uh, lid, the hole, and uh, start plunging and it does an amazing job it really is incredible how well it works and it doesn't take that long to do to wash your clothes uh, now the other option is is you can do it without the lid Carolyn likes that method that way she can see you know that all the clothes are getting agitated and uh, she can see how dirty the water is because she likes to change out the water several times and then finally, number five, and it seems like this one is probably a no-brainer. Um, a, 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 a foam noodle, 
or palm, uh, a pool noodle is another way they call it. Uh, the one with the little hole down the center of them. You cut a slit along the side, on the edge, and you can put these around everything. We use one of our table areas as a couch. We drop the table, put a uh, mattress over it, and we use it as a couch. Well, then your backstop has this metal rod going across. Well, we put the foam noodle on that metal bar and uh, makes a nice little backrest. Did a great job. And then, of course, you can put it on the uh, you can put it on the uh, bunk end stabilizers uh, so the kids don't come around and whack their head on them. You can use them on your awning poles. So there's a lot of uses for them. Uh, you should have couple of them laying around at all times and again they're not very expensive a dollar at the Dollar Tree I think you can get them three dollars at Walmart so uh, again I apologize for the win I appreciate you watching I hope these little hacks help you out camping hacks and uh, be sure to subscribe and click like if you like the video